Dodge Chinook RV, or 1969 no, 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 no. Dodge Chinook. Taking a tour on our vintage van. Vintage bus. Cool. Let's do it. Is that? What? Yeah, it's vintage. Of course it's vintage. Hi, I'm Gabs, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of Drew and I's vintage. Mobile home. Just so you guys know, we got this about a month ago. We haven't done any major renovations yet. So this is the before van tour. Then we're gonna do a separate van tour. But we have it all packed up for camping right now. We're at June Jam Festival in AZ. But yeah, so this is kind of like the pre-tour before we do all the projects. And did we then... buy it exactly like this or did you add some stuff? So everything in here is original from 1969. We bought it just like this. I added a few decor pieces just for camping. Um, like a plant. Like a plant. But I'm gonna take you along the fun stuff today. If you're geeking out and you love old cars, then head over to Drew's section of the video where he actually talks about the mechanical renovations he's done to make it run today and to make it run forever. So let's get into it. <laughs> let's get into it. So when you first walk in, we have <laughs> the side. Like I said, everything's original. So we have this old um, forsaken kit. <laughs> Pretty sick. So yeah, if we ever got hurt, we would just have everything we needed right here. Perfect. I'm glad they left that for us. We just have some hooks. And first things first, I'll take you on tour of the cab. So. This is the cab. Um, we've got the sick driver's seat here. Sick steering wheel, huge. And then we've got these two bus seats. So I love these bus seats. You can have them spun around, locked in place, both facing front and spin it around here. Um, and then they both can go down. Um, Super sick, they can both go down like this, so it is extra sleeping accommodations if you want to have some people sleep over in the van, which I love. These seats are honestly kind of dangerous, um, but I love them. And then, as you can see, I just covered it with this blanket, but on the seats there's some leather damage, um, which we'll have to fix. So if you know anyone that does that or know where I can get that done. Let us know in the comments. No, we're gonna cut that part out. So the bathroom is definitely one of the bigger projects that I wanna tackle. I definitely want to spice it up, put some cool stuff in there, maybe some tiles, some paint, some new shower heads, new fixtures. I don't know, but stay tuned for that. All right, so now we're getting into the kitchen. First up, hat goes in the hat drawer. And then, welcome to our kitchen. This kitchen, I'm obsessed, I love it, it was one of the biggest selling points for me even before we looked at the van in person I just couldn't get over this green color um, like I said everything's original so we have the original stove sink fridge and then it opens with a little pin they all work which is amazing um, the only thing that doesn't work right now is this overhead light so we'll have to figure that out we got the fan up here pretty slick certified slick then we got so much storage space, honestly. Um, like I said, we've got the hot drawer, more drawers, a ton of drawers here, space under here. Um, Easy. Put some WD-40. Moving to the chariot. First, well, one thing I want to show you is this little level right here. Super cute and engraved right there. I don't know if you can see some flowers. To me, all the little details mean a lot. Now we have the closet. Um, I love that it has a mirror right here and a mirror right here. Um, lots of storage so we can hang our long stuff. As you can see, I have a fur coat. That's because we're up in Flagstaff AZ right now. It's a bit cooler. I think it's about 110 in Phoenix where we live, which is horrific. But can't wait to bust this out tonight when it gets colder. Um, but yeah, lots of storage in the closet. Love it so much. Now to the caboose. 
Like I said, it's all packed up with a bunch of stuff from camping right now, but I haven't changed a thing. There's these gorgeous leather, gorgeous leather benches, which are absolutely stunning. I, there's one spot where there's a little damage. Um, same thing with right here. So that's probably the biggest thing is we'll just need to find someone or I'll have to figure out how to reupholster everything while trying to keep the original. Right here we have a bunch of storage. Um, we also have a table. So there's a table here. There's also a table for that breakfast nook up front. Um, and then yeah, there's just a ton of storage space. Honestly, all of these go back super far um, all throughout the top, which is amazing. One thing is this random hole right here is from previous owners wanting to put a TV there. Um, we don't watch that much TV, so we're gonna try and figure out a way to fill this or turn it into something else. We have a few ideas, but we're not sure, so if you have any cool ideas, let us know in the comments. And then one thing I absolutely love about this van is the wood ceilings all throughout. They're gorgeous, custom built. Love them. Now that the sun is going down, we're gonna transition the back seats into a bed, and so we'll show you how that's done. Underneath these wooden boards, there's these kind of wooden side things on either side, and you put them together. And we'll insert a clip when we set up our bed for the night, too. But basically, what we're gonna do is take these two benches, put them sideways, and then yeah, it's pretty nice. Makes about, I would say like a queen size bed. Full, it's a full queen, yeah, I can lay down. Full queen. Drew can lay down in it, which was super awesome because that means it's tall enough for him. And I think that's it. So, if you've made it to this point in the video, uh, it's time for me to go over the mechanical things we've done to make sure that Daisy stays on the road uh, indefinitely. So most of the work we've done has been under the doghouse here, which is where the engine is. Um, there is a 318 small block in here, and it was in remarkably good condition. Of course, the first thing uh, we wanted to do is make sure it doesn't overheat because we are in Arizona. And like Gab said, it's it was 110 this morning in Phoenix. So um, I had my mechanic buddy James help me take out all of the radiator hosing and the radiator itself. And then we got the radiator rotted, uh, taken apart, cleaned, put back together, replaced all the hoses there. Um, let's see, what else did we do? Oh yeah, so we took off the, uh, we took off the clutch fan, uh, which the clutch had gone bad. Basically all that means is the the fan wasn't cooling the radiator as well as it could, and it was eating up a lot of the horsepower that the engine produces to get it starting when you first turn the key. So we put a electric fan in there. Um, shout out James for helping us do that. And we didn't overheat on the way up here. Today was the big test, so uh, we are pretty excited about that. We also redid the inside of the doghouse in Dynamat, um, which made it way quieter in here. Um, and then we replaced the water pump because there was a water pump from 1969 that was still working but leaking at the valve so we threw a new one in there um, and fixed the little manual hand pump so mechanically everything works going forward um, there's some things we need to do we need to put the fan on a two switch we need to you know maybe make the speedometer work you now one of my favorite things with the van here I'm not gonna do it because we're in a campground but is the truck horn yeah. oh. we'll, we'll insert a clip of us doing it obnoxiously. Yeah. <laughs> it's sick cool it's enough camera time for me bye that's all for today thanks for coming along for a tour of our van we hope you love her as much as we do stay tuned for future videos now we're gonna go enjoy the fest bye